You may have seen that Adobe, GE, and Accenture have made some very public decisions to dump their annual performance review process, and you may be considering doing the same in your organization. Does your annual performance review cause you more work than what it's worth? I know I'd be a grumpy cat if it was my job to champion the dreaded annual review, a process that waits until the end of the year to share feedback, makes people anxious about ratings and comparisons, and creates too much administrative overhead and chasing. There's a lot of industry talk out there about how dysfunctional the performance review has become. Why? Because it frustrates employees and managers. It feels forced, and when it's done poorly, it can actually reduce employee engagement and productivity, the exact opposite of what it's supposed to achieve. So is the annual appraisal dead? Well, I'm going to be disruptive and say it's not dead, but perhaps the old way of thinking about it is. Performance management and conversations are so incredibly valuable to your business and your people, and making them go away is not the answer. So if you are thinking about killing performance appraisal activities, stop. We know reviews are flawed, but that's maybe because they are not focusing your managers and employees on what really matters. When they're done well, effective performance management is about driving for better business results. It's about setting clear expectations and developing people for the roles they are in today, and it's about building relationships between your managers and your employees through conversations around expectations. So I'm going to suggest that you can transform this process from a once-a-year pain by focusing on three key things, goals, feedback, and development. So let's start with goals. Less than 50% of employees know what's expected of them. Imagine that. Even my 10-year-old asks me, what do you want me to do? How do I do it? And then that's usually followed with a why. So why are goals important? They clarify performance expectations. Imagine your employee is taking you on a road trip and not looking at the map until the very end of the line. And if you're not where you wanted to be, how much gas and time and effort does it take to get back on track? How frustrating is it driving with someone who's lost and directionless? At Adobe, performance management is about quarterly check-ins where managers review goals and expectations with the employee, focusing on the what, why those goals matter, and when they're to be accomplished, and then how employees are doing and the competencies that they need to meet those expectations. No rankings, no comparisons, just aligned employee goals that help the organization meet its strategic priorities. And then this line of sight for employees helps to provide them with context in the bigger picture that drives business outcomes and improves engagement. So the second focus is about coaching and feedback, and this is critical to driving great performance outcomes. Performance conversations get people talking. It provides recognition, it provides focus on goals, it really gives them what they need. So at a minimum, we need to get our folks talking, get them having conversations, and if there's one thing that you can do, it's to Get them talking and understanding that this is not an HR need. Encourage, demand, even yell at your managers to have performance conversations. For ongoing performance management is not about getting to that perfect score or grade at the end of the year. It's about an ongoing dialogue to strive for progress against those expectations as the year goes on. So now, lastly, we're going to talk about or what's in it for me. We hear this all the time when we talk about millennials. So before you roll your eyes, I'm here to tell you that we're all special snowflakes and we all want to grow and develop in our careers. It's not just the millennials. So let's forget about talking about training to correct the performance sins of the past and we want to focus development for our employees on the work they need to do now and we need to focus also on talking about helping them get to where they want to be in the future. Some simple development conversation starters can help get focus on how you're doing, where do you want to go, and what development do you need to get there. This helps ensure that people have the knowledge, experience, and competencies needed to meet the performance goals for today and be successful in the future. So again, I ask you, is the appraisal dead? Well, if you're thinking about the single point in time, backward-looking annual review that's basically a report card, I think it's fair to say that it's on its last legs. But do not stop your activities around performance management. Rejig it, rethink your process by all means, focus on what really drives business results and employee engagement. Clear goals and expectations, coaching and feedback throughout the year, and development plans with teeth. Then we can help align leaders, managers, employees around conversations that drive performance and better business outcomes. And hopefully with no U-turns or fights along the way. Thank you.